Hello and welcome to episode 4 of my folktale tutorial let's play series. This episode will be on continuing the starter tutorial and taking a look at the adventuring side of the game. Uh, both sides, the uh, city building and adventuring, in my humble opinion, are just as good as each other. So anyway, let's now take a look. So we crossed over the bridge with Sir Gregory and got to this site here. The advisor's now telling us Sir Gregory stumbled across a site that had recently seen battle. Several dead lay beside a ransacked wagon. Whoever the good people were, they put up a fight and paid the price. Perhaps there might be clues nearby, thought Bob. OK, so let's just quickly talk about Sir Gregory. Up here we can see his portrait and all of the uh, skills that he's got besides him around him here so it starts with iron skin which whenever you before you go into battle you should always cast iron skin as you're going to see I do I only ever use these first three skills and you'll see why the second skill is power slam which does 50 physical damage at a cost of 45 power plus it does splash damage of 10 meaning that it's going to hit more than one person and then we have the shield bash power cost 45 plus 25 physical damage and again splash 10 this has got to be my favorite skill because it stuns all the enemies and gives let sir gregory just lay into them and lay waste to them next you have taunt which is for taunting well you know because sir gregory's fighting them on his own he doesn't need to taunt because he's got the full ag aggravation if you like uh, and lastly we've got decisive victory power cost 70 if attacking a target with less than 30 percent health a hundred percent chance to instantly kill the target otherwise 80 physical damage again sir gregory tends to uh, do enough damage to not need to use that at the moment so for now i just use these three skills over here we have guard mode well at the moment as you can see it's broken in the current build but no doubt they'll fix that in the future Next we have Toggle Auto AI. Determines if the character should perform duties automatically, e.g. collect firewood, mine iron, chop down trees, etc. Then we have Camera Follow. Lock the camera on the selected character. So if I click that, you'll see now the camera will follow Sir Gregory wherever we move. Next we have the character sheet. So if I open that up, actually I'll wait for the advisor to mention that. And lastly, we've got two potion slots, one for our power and one for our health. So that's a quick overview of Sir Gregory. We'll take a closer look when the advisor mentions. So for now, though, we have to search for clues. And the clue will be in one of these chests. Well, in actual fact, it's... For honour and chest. glory! OK, so let's open it up. And here we go, we've got some items, a sword and a shield and a teeth necklace. Let's loot. The teeth necklace led Bob to just one conclusion, kobolds. A rush, a rustle in the bushes startled Bob. The scavenging party had come back for the last of the supplies. It was time to fight. So okay, let's take a look at the combat. Okay, let's do iron skin quickly. And then let's do some stunning. Look at that. See the stunning above their heads? Absolutely fantastic. He can slaughter them and they don't even fight back. Oh, and we even gained a level. How cool. Bob was victorious. Sir Gregory had grown in power and could now level up. With Sir Gregory selected, Bob left clicked on the bag icon on the character portrait wheel. Or pressed C to open the character sheet. Okay, so let's quickly loot first. Grab all this lovely stuff. And so what it's talking about is here, the character sheet. Okay, Bob pervaded Sir Gregory's stats with great interest. Gaining a level had awarded Sir Gregory an ability point that could now be spent. If Bob wanted to dig deeper, however, the mouse dig deeper, hovering the mouse pointer over the stat icons would show 
a tooltip full of useful information. So let's have a quick look. So if we hover over strength, strength determines attack rating for melee characters. So Gregory is a melee character, so that's something for us to focus on. Next we have agility. Agile characters have a better chance of evading attacks and landing critical hits. Agility determines attack rating for ranged characters, so anyone with a bow is going to want to pile up the agility. Next we have vitality. Vitality determines the character's health points and mind determines the character's power points and contributes to caster attack rating. So you may be wondering, well, if Serga is a warrior, then what good would mind be to us, or agility? Well, agility would still be good for the critical hits, but bear in mind, okay, that we will have eventually more than one hero. We will have a whole company of heroes, and some of them will be casters, some of them will be rogues and, or a thief using agility and all of them will benefit from vitality. So at the moment we only have Sir Gregory, but in the future, when we do the campaign, we will get more heroes to control, hence why all the stats will be very useful. Over here you can see our attack power. Let's just hover over it. Determines how much damage the character does. So at the moment I'm doing 31 physical damage. Um, but perhaps I can get a weapon with some fire or frost or poison, shadow or electrical damage as well. Next we have my armor rating. A higher armor rating increases damage reduction, so that's all good. Uh, and that's what we'll take a look at in a sec, equipping some of the weapons and armor that we're getting. Next we have critical hit chance. Critical hits increase damage. You've got to love critical hits in any game. Okay, and lastly we have evade chance. The percent chance the character has to evade an attack. Also very, very good. And down here we've got our resistances to fire, poison, electrical, shadow, cold and physical. Okay, over here we can equip all of the items as we uh, get loot and we've got one point to spend so let's put it into strength. You'll notice up here that currently we're level 2 and as we kill monsters and complete quests the experience will go up and then we will gain another level. Next we have our health which is at 230 and lastly power which is at 105. Okay, so there we go, there's Sir Gregory's character sheet. How do I equip Sir Gregory with the cool loot I just found, pondered Bob. Soon he was to discover that pressing the bag icon on the top bar or pressing I would open the master inventory. So let's continue and do that. So we've opened Sir Gregory's character sheet, now we need to open the master inventory, which we can do by clicking that bag item up there, or pressing the I key. That brings up the master inventory. Dragging items from the master inventory onto Sir Gregory's character sheet, Bob gave his heroes some new gear. Right clicking on a piece of gear in the master inventory would achieve the same result. Okay, so before I move on with the advisor, let's just equip some of this, uh, these items that we've been getting. First of all, the sword. It uh, does 28 physical damage and is only usable by Sir Gregory. <coughs> Excuse me. The current sword is only 20 damage. So by right-clicking on this sword, it will equip it. There we go, so we've upgraded the sword. Next, the shield. That... <coughs> Excuse me, God, my voice is failing now. That gives us 46 armor. The current shield gives us 46 armor. So really, it goes on just the looks. Which one do you prefer? Let's equip this one. There we go. Okay, now we've got some a cloth tunic. Doesn't give us much armor, but at least we can put it on. Cover on modesty. And we've got some scale leggings. Bit more like it. Check out that armor rating. So we're gonna get 11 armor. So we should notice this going up. And also bear in mind that the City Watch can use this. So if I find some better leggings for Sir Gregory, I can always start to equip the City Watch, which we're going to take a look at in the future. 
There we go. So as you can see, my armor ratings now at a healthy 75. That gives me a 40%, 43% damage reduction against level one, 33 against level two, 20% against uh, level five, and 12% against level 10. Oh, and 8% against level 17 opponents. Well, we're only level 2, so I certainly hope we aren't going to be facing any uh, opponents of them levels. We'll stick to level 1 and 2, thank you very much. Okay, so we've equipped the items. Let's close that. <coughs> close the character sheet. With a bloodlust, that required satiating and the need for rightful retribution. Bob led Sir Gregory up the hill in the hope of finding the kobold's main camp. So let's see if we can find the camp. Okay, remember the Q and E keys rotates the screen around. Very important to remember that, especially when you're in an enclosed area. Okay, so we Come just... Come to daddy! Let's turn the sound down a bit. Okay, so we've got this chest to loot quickly. Far be it from us to leave any loot behind. And Quick let's march. continue on. So we're going to this quest point up here. Let's zoom out a bit. Okay, so there we go. Looks like there's some kobolds over here. Onward! Right, okay, first thing to do, of course, is to use Iron Skin, because we want our protection increased. Okay, now let's rush into battle, and I'm going to use my Shield Bash, because as you can see, it stuns them all, which is fantastic. Only this one, because I didn't get him in the range. So that's no problem for Sir Gregory. And there we go. Having killed the last of the kobolds, it became apparent that the story was positively willing Bob to enter the mine. Only heroes could enter dungeons, so Bob selected Sir Gregory and right-clicked on the mine entrance. Okay, well, let's loot this treasure. Oh, we can wear that, and it's more armour, so we are going to put that on quickly. Because currently we've only got three armour. There we go, a healthy 80 armour now. Which is slightly boosted that, but never mind. Okay, now let's explain a little, elaborate on what it's saying here. Only heroes could enter dungeons. So what it's telling us is in our adventures, as we gain heroes, they're the ones that go into the dungeons and instant zones for doing the main fighting. What it's also telling us is when we start to develop a town and I build a barracks and I get some militia, some soldiers, um, they'll be fighting with us and they will be gaining levels as well. Um, but they're a lot more difficult to do as I'm going to show you in future episodes. But what it's telling us is when the militia are with us and on, on the outside, on top, on the top of the world, they will fight alongside us with all the creatures. But when we get to instance dungeons they will be wait left waiting outside which is okay you'll see that our heroes are good enough to do what's needed to be done time to die okay so just going to quickly loot everything because i am a ninja waste not want not as they say time to head into the mine Okay, so here we are in the mine. In the darkness of the mine, Bob's sense of peril grew considerably. It wasn't just scavenging kobolds that lived here. Something far more sinister lay ahead. Bob swallowed his fear and pressed on. So it's now telling us delve deeper into the mine. So let's spin around and take a look. Keeping our eyes open for At once. treasure. Okay, so we can go to the left and we can go to the right. As you know, I normally always stick to going to the left, so let's try that. Door locked. 
A locked door meant one of two things. Either a key was required or a... Oh, there's the timer. It's okay, we'll go a little over. Either a door, a key was required or a lever was nearby. In this case, it was most definitely a key that would be needed. Okay, thank you, Mr. Advisor. That means we are going to need to head back and go to the right. Mine is to obey. Mine is to. Okay, so we're going to go this way. And we're looking for a key. But it looks like we found a load of kobolds. Okay, so what we'll do, we'll put on our iron skin and then charge them. And there we go, look at that. Cool stun. You just gotta love that. And he lays waste to them. Oh yeah, and we gained another level. Let's loot up. Oh, loads more armor for us to put on. So let's see what we can equip now. Oh, we got some boots. Two armor or 18. Yep, no brainer there. Nice, 103 armor now. And did we get anything else worthwhile? 16 armor and 11. Oh yeah, an upgrade on our leggings. Cool. That means now this second set of leggings I can keep for the city watch. You are definitely going to need armor to upgrade the armor and weapons on your city watch, as you're going to see, as they die very easily. Right, okay, so... Let's put a point in his agility now. Why not? And there we go. Notice our stats went up a little then when I did that. Okay, let's loot this chest. Here's some potions for us to use. And boy oh boy, are you going to need them. I know the combat's looked easy so far, but Sir Gregory's going to do a lot of dying. And with the aid of potions, we will lessen that. But he will still do a lot of dying. Here's the key we need, so let's loot it all. Notice now we can use these potions down there by left clicking on them if uh, our health gets really low or our power. Okay, let, your leave. Let's head back to the. Oh, wait a minute, there's something there to loot. Okay, that's everything done. Let's head back to that gate and get it unlocked. So now we're going to find out what's far more sinister. Okay, let's give ourselves some iron skin. Tis an honor. And into battle. There go that. He just chews through them. Okay, let's loot up. Oh, got a bracer I can now put on. Cool. And some chests to loot. Oh, and there is traps in the game, so be very wary of that, as they can make the difference in a battle. Oh, some more armour to wear. Oh, and more armour, so let's put that on. Okay, some gloves. And a helmet. Nice, and that gives us not only eight armor, but four fire resistance. Okay, we're not gonna drink any mead. We don't want Sir Gregory getting drunk. Okay, so right. Let's avoid this trap and we'll go around. Okay, continuing on. Looks like we gotta walk down some train tracks or minecart tracks I should say oh here we go in the heart of the mine stood Nugzerg the overseer the monstrous ogre was far more powerful than anything Bob had faced before steadying his nerves Bob prepared to fight for Sir Gregory's life ok iron skin and let's see if we can stun and let's do this one. Remember that we have these potions if things get desperate, but we're not needing to use them. 
because we've used our skills to full effect. Look at that, there we go. With Nugzerg defeated, Bob's training was complete. Armed with the skills he had learned, Bob was well equipped to hit escape. Exit back to the main menu and start a new campaign game. So there we go, I'll just quickly loot up, why not? When there's loot to be grabbed, I'm certainly going to grab it. Okay, so there we are. That's given you a taste of the adventuring side, the RPG side to Folktale. Not only As is you it come, man. not only is it a fantastic city builder game, which you're going to see, true settler style, but also it is a fantastic RPG game as well. Well, in the next episode, I'm going to start a new campaign and show you right from the beginning how I go about building a nice big city and develop a load of heroes, doing all of the quests and all of the adventuring and having a lot of fun. Uh, I hope that uh, you'll join me for that episode. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. Goodbye.